Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We are halfway through this week. This video actually feels like, or, or recording this video, I should say, feels the most normal than the most normal that it has felt for the past couple of weeks because we've been quarantined. However, today, as you can see from my dress, I have to go into the office today. Not really looking forward to it. Honestly, I'm running late. Um, but one thing that it, that stood out to me uh, as I was getting ready this morning was that I have really been taking this quarantine for granted um, because I haven't been, I, I've been too relaxed in my morning routine. Like, obviously, because I've been working from home, it's very easy for me to roll out of bed five minutes before I have to be on the computer or on the clock, so to speak, um, and just start my work instead of really getting up, um, doing some things for myself personally and spiritually, allowing my mind to be right, um, before I get into my day. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably why at some points during my day lately, like within the past week, I'll say like, I've been feeling very overwhelmed and stressed because a lot's been going on, but I feel like it's because I haven't prepared properly. So even though I'm not too happy about having to go into the office today, I am happy about the realization that I found this morning and that sis, you've been lazy, baby. Okay. You, you haven't been doing what you're supposed to do. So, um, moving forward, I think that it's, there's going to be a shift in how I am not even viewing this quarantine. Cause I, I, I finally am viewing the quarantine as a a, um, a time of self-reflection, but now it also needs to be a time of preparation. Now I understand it needs to be a time of preparation and continuation of good practices because before this quarantine, it wasn't like I was waking up last minute. Like I was waking up later than what I was supposed to, but I still had a structure. I, should, I still was organizing my day and I just really fell off. So that's neither here nor there. I don't want to go way off the deep end because like I said, I am running a bit late. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. As always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. Today we are continuing with our discussion on healing. So again, April is our month full of wholeness and I'm talking about our journey to becoming whole or becoming the person that God called us or God created us to be, which is a whole person. He did not make anyone broken or to have cracks or rips or tears he created us all to be whole so this month we are journeying to wholeness last week we talked about brokenness this week we talked about healing okay so on monday we defined what healing was um as b it being the process of making or becoming sound healthy or whole again so today i want to talk about that process because i feel like I feel like in say, I feel like in defining this week as the focus uh, or as our focus of healing, I don't want anyone to be confused with once we go through this week or once you do a one, two, three step program, you'll be able to be completely healed and now nothing in life is going to um, take you back to where you were because that is not true. It is in every way or in every sense of the word, it is a process, exactly what it says. So what is a process? It's a series of actions or steps that um, that is taken in order to achieve a particular end, meaning our particular end is wholeness or is that person that God created us to be. So we can't just say like, we're just going to do healing this week and then next week we're going to move on to another topic. No, even though next week we are going to move on to another topic, we have to understand that healing is a process. So regardless of, you know, if you continue to seek out that process after this week, understand that after this week or after these couple of videos that you may watch about healing or even outside of, you know, Be Blessed Project, if you look up or um, things about healing, if you read a book about healing, you have to continually make sure that your mindset is on that healing mindset. Like, I want to be healed. I believe in healing. So I'm actively seeking or chasing after, or not even chasing after, but I'm actively walking in a healed state, okay? You have to constantly put that in your mind or else it's going to be really easy to fall back into old mindsets and old behaviors. So um, knowing that it is 
um, a series of steps. I wrote down one, two, three steps that we could take um, in order to not only just walk, not only to um, have the best results in our healing process, but also just to just to understand it more. Okay, so the first step is believing in healing. Okay, you got to believe that you can be healed. You have to believe that this process is going to make you a better person at the end of the day. Because if you don't, then you just might you just need to stop. Okay, if you do not believe in it at all, don't go any further. If you don't think that, like we identified our broken areas last week, and we have identified for everyone, myself included, that we have all been broken, or we all have suffered from broken um, situations in the past, that where I'm standing now, I am not 100% whole. Okay, so we all identified, we got work to do. But if you don't believe that the work that you are going to put in is going to help you become a better person at the end of the day, but you're just doing it, ah, I'll give it a shot. No, you don't need to just give it a shot. If you're doing this just to give it a shot, no, you need to have your whole heart, your whole mind, everything about you needs to be intent on making sure that this is going to work, okay? Because if not, then you're going to be putting your half of your energy into it and then you're really not going to get the best out of your healing journey or out of your wholeness journey. So that's the first step. The next step is seeking out healing, okay? Seeking out healing. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to a doctor or to some person to lay you on the altar and get this healing. Like, you don't have to do all of that stuff. Honestly, if you want to seek someone, you should honestly seek the Lord and say, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You should seek God and, of course, pray about your healing. Be open to it, to receive it. Um, but when I talk about seeking out healing, I'm, I mean that you can't just, like, I feel like if I'm identifying that I want to be healed, I can't automatically think that, oh, just because I, I've identified my broken places, I believe in healing, now I'm healed. Like, no, you actually have to do things in order to walk in your healing or in order to um, receive healing. You have to actively seek it and then continue to walk in it or else, again, it's going to be easy to fall back into those broken places. And then the last step is to walk in your healing, okay? Walk in your healing. And what does walking in your healing look like? We'll talk about this a little bit more on Friday, but honestly, you have to move, you have to act, you have to speak, you have to think as though you've already been healed and delivered, even if you have not been fully healed or delivered. It's just like, I think on Monday I talked about people that have broken bones or something like that. So if I have, if I have broken my leg and you know, I, I got surgery in order for it to be corrected and I'm going to physical therapy or the, or the reason that I'm going to physical therapy or the reason that I've sought out a doctor in order to get it back to the way that it was is because I do not want to live in pain any longer. Okay, my leg was broken. I need to get, I need to figure out how to fix it. How do I fix it? I go to the doctor, I get surgery, and then he puts me on a plan of recovery, a recovery plan. So that recovery plan is going to require me to actually, like in physical therapy, I'm actually going to have to use my broken limb, even though it's still in the process of being healed. I, I'm using it as though it's not that way. I'm not just sitting down and allowing, um, and I'm, Unfortunately, I did not go to med school, so I don't have all of the verbiage, but I'm using this limb so that, you know, it honestly is not just a dead limb at the end of the day, okay? So that's the same with us. Like, if we truly want to recover from, our bro from the broken areas in our life or we want to get over broken areas in our life, then we have to actively walk in our healing. Even if it's not, even if you're not 100% whole, you gotta act like you're 100% whole. And not act in the sense of you're covering up those broken areas, but you understand healing and now your mindset is, I am healed from whatever took place in my past. So I'm not gonna let certain things affect me anymore because I am actively seeking out my healing. I am. Um, I believe in this healing process, and so I'm going to walk in um, a healed mindset, okay? So that's our video for today. I um, hope everyone honestly dives in. I would suggest like going back to this video and, and re-watching those steps or writing them down if you haven't already, and then over the next couple of days, really for the, dif for the different broken areas in your life, see how those can apply. And again, it all starts in believing in healing. If you do not believe in healing, then this more than likely is not going to work. 
for you. So make sure that you believe that you can be healed first and then go out and seek it and walk in it. All right. So everyone has a great Wednesday and a fabulous Thursday. And I'll talk to you guys again on Friday. Bye.